What's up guys, it's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Cyberpunk 2077 video, so let's get into it. We've been going through the world compendium of Cyberpunk 2077, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new part in that world compendium, the Gangs of Night City. So the reality of 2077 is that gangs are the most tempting shortcut to making it big. They promise independence, come with ready-made enemies, and give you a feeling of power. Every gang has its own style, symbolism, and perks. Gangs can be useful to you, but they can also be deadly. Maelstrom, you'll recognize them by their characteristically extreme cyber implantation and ruthlessness. Most people avoid them like the plague. If you have to deal with them at all, keep your safety off and make sure you shoot first. When we get to the Voodoo Boys, Night City's best net runners, rooted in Haitian culture and tradition. You need data, dirt from the net, or access beyond Blackwell. You go to them. Just remember that they don't take too kindly to strangers, so watch your back. The Sixth Street sprang up when small business owners went bankrupt from corpse poaching their customers. To make matters worse, Local gangs started harassing them. A couple of charismatic war vets decided to take matters into their own hands. Now they control Santo Domingo. If you want to see what Sixth Street means by social justice, visit their turf. The next gang is the Mox. Lizzie's Bar is the Mox's base of operations. Besides brain dances, you'll find every variety of sex workers from King Taylor dolls to punks and anarchists who will offer you a good time with a human touch. And then the Valentinos, you've got the Pistoleros, Cuchilleros, worshippers of Santo Morete, and Jesus Malverde. Valentino celebrate Dia de Moretos. Totally botched that. Walk in processions bearing effigies of the Bandido Santos and organize for their daughters. Their turf is Haywood and they are very proud of it. Tiger Claws, they control Japantown and Kabuki. Dollhouses, illegal brain dances, gambling halls, a street food stalls, and capsule hotels. If you frequent any of these establishments, expect your money to end up in the Tiger Claws' pockets. And then there's the animals. Gangs don't come more jacked than this. They're tough as nails, brawlers, and immune to pain. You'll find them wherever there's extortion, a need for muscle, or a lesson that needs teaching. Scavengers, the question isn't where they are, but where they aren't. Mostly immigrants from Eastern Europe, the scavengers specialize in smuggling, kidnapping, and black market cyberware. To them, an individual is only as valuable the parts they can be divided into. And then guys, the corporations, Arasaka, Militech, and k Tao. the only difference is the cut of their suits. Their motivations are always the same, profit, profit, and more profit. Corporal employees will stop at nothing to rise up the ladder. Even Trauma Team, a corp that provides elite armed emergency medical services, shows no mercy. If you're covered, you get help. If you're not, you better not get in their way. So first and foremost, guys, which gang is it that you like the most? And which corporation do you like the most as well? Which one do you hate the most? Which one do you love the most? I'd love to hear your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. The Gangs of Night City really make so much happen within this story and just the world building that CD Projekt Red started with Cyberpunk 2077. And I'm really excited to see where it goes in future entries in the Cyberpunk universe. Let me know your thoughts though, guys, in the comments section down below and for more cyberpunk 2077 content and videos keep it right here